in the quiet early hours as the world whispers its first secrets. I find myself on a path less trodden. Her journey inward, it stands as the realm where solitude isn't solitude at all but a companion, a teacher whispering the timeless wisdom of introspection. Imagine a serene garden settling on a master teacher and student sitting across from each other the gentle rustle of leaves in the background warm greetings Giru what questions brew in your mind today master I often see you in solitude away from the clamor of the world does loneliness not weigh heavy on you I consciously choose to embark on a path of solitude and introspection. It is within the embrace of solitude that I find the greatest comfort and solace, offering me profound benefits such as physical and mental health, a sense of safety, clarity of mind, inner calmness, and liberation from the shackles of fear. Though this chosen path may not be adorned with the glitz and glamour of external allure, it holds within it the potential for deep enrichment in an enduring state of tranquility. It is a path that resonates within my inner being, aligning with my true nature, even in the absence of companion. I am steadfastly devoted to treading this balanced way for it is the source of profound peace and sporadic but remarkable moments of creative insight and inspiration. While the future holds uncertainty regarding the acquisition of material wealth through my pursuits, this path has never failed to sustain me, providing the essential nourishment for my soul and fortifying me to face the challenges of ongoing death poverty, and occasional bouts of loneliness. But Master, don't you fear the uncertainty of the future, especially regarding wealth and companionship? Geru, the path I tread is lined with different riches, ones that fill the soul, not the purse. Let me share with you a fable. Once there was a wise old bird that lived in the forest. Unlike other birds, she did not spend her days in search of shiny objects or sweet fruit. Instead, she sought the quiet of forest depths, listening to the wind and learning from the silence. The other birds mocked her, flaunting their vibrant feathers and treasures However, when the winter came, it was the wise bird who soared above the rest, her wings strong and her eyes clear. But she had found nourishment in the stillness that others had overlooked. So Geru, like the wise bird, we too must seek what truly nourishes us beyond the material. I understand now, Master. True wealth lies within, in peace and understanding. Yes, Giru. Remember the embrace of solitude and introspection. We discover our true selves. So, How do you find peace and clarity in moments of solitude? What lessons can we learn from simplicity and stillness of nature? In what ways has introspection contributed to your personal growth? If you feel inspired and ready, try your own journey of introspection, uncovering your path, embracing your solitude, and discovering the peace waiting in the quiet corners of your soul. I go by the name Kansura, the Kung Fu Creative. And if you're ready, check out some of these other videos on other Taoist musings. Thank you for listening and watching. Stay inspired and inspirational.